In the depths of a chilly winter in the northern hemisphere, it's hard to imagine, but there's actually too much sunshine for many in summertime South America. More precisely, it's ultraviolet radiation that's reaching dangerous levels in parts of Chile, Bolivia, and Peru. CCTV's Dan Collins reports from Lima. Spare a thought for those hitting the beach in Peru's coastal capital. While they're enjoying the summer sunshine, many are unaware that they're being exposed to some of the world's strongest ultraviolet radiation. Orlando Cora from Peru's Meteorological Institute is measuring just how strong those UV rays are. In the capital, we're measuring level 12 for ultraviolet radiation, which is very high and a health risk, and that's in spite of the overcast skies. Just to be clear, according to the UV index, any score of 11 or more indicates extreme levels of ultraviolet radiation to be avoided entirely. I didn't know the UV radiation was so strong. I don't like wearing hats on the beach, so we'll have to be more sunblock. But in this city by the sea, persuading people to steer clear of the beach is no easy task. It's impossible for us to change. We're not interested in or worried about the damage. The authorities have failed to warn us about the dangers. While vendors sell sunblock and some are making sure their kids have it on, medical advice says that's not enough protection from the midday sun. According to doctors, people at this time of day in Lima should be using wide brim hats, sunglasses, long sleeve shirts, and Factor 50 sunblock. It will come as no surprise to know that I'm probably the only person on this beach, with the exception of my short sleeve shirt, who's following those recommendations. The authorities don't want to ruin anyone's summer fun, but they are warning parents to keep children inside between the peak hours of 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Exposure to excessive UV radiation can cause serious health problems, from premature aging to cataracts and skin cancer. There's no hard data on the incidence of skin cancer in Peru, but doctors say cases are on the rise, especially in the young. Why is there an increase in the number of cases of young people? One, because of the depletion of the ozone layer. Two, because there's more ultraviolet radiation. And three, because there's much more prolonged exposure to that UV radiation from a young age. Add Peru's subtropical latitude and this year's El Nino weather phenomenon, and there's a perfect storm for dangerous UV radiation levels. Particularly at altitude, where UV index measurements are peaking at 15 and above, in cities in the Andes Mountains. With limited public awareness of the dangers, keeping people out of the sun is proving a huge challenge. Dan Collins, CCTV, Lima.